in his mission to promote self-reliance and financial freedom, the senator representing Kano Central, Rufai Sani Hanga, has empowered and sponsored the training of no fewer than 200 youth and women among his constituents in fish farming in Kano State. During the training flag up ceremony, the senator highlighted the significance of the training as he expressed his readiness to uplift his constituents by providing programs that aim to elevate poverty and unemployment. I know there's need for uh, at least either employment by government, by companies, or self-employment. Uh, I always believe that self-employment is the best because when you are self-employed and you have the heart and the will to do whatever you are empowered to do, uh, definitely tomorrow you'll be employer, not employee. So I've seen this. That's why I thought of doing this and many other things I did. And I have many more things to do to empower our youth and women because they are the most vulnerable. I know some women are <coughs> widows, some women are, are even married but to some uh, a lot of opens and uh, they have nothing doing. So the best thing to do is to empower them so that uh, they can have something to do and help others. The senator urges all public office holders in the country to promote entrepreneurship as it will grow the country's economy and reduce the rate of poverty. You see, of course, I really cry at times when I see what is happening in some places in Kano. People that cannot eat, eat one once a day. People that skip a day before they eat anything. And, uh, you know, this situation in this country is the same. Everybody, especially in the, uh, here in the north, everybody has problems, financial problems. People who are helping people, but now they can hardly help themselves. So this is why I thought the best thing I do is to empower our men and youth. Because if you don't empower our youth, you are breeding danger. If you don't empower women, empower women, uh, you're being heartless. So I don't. I want to breed danger for ourselves and our people. You know, the danger is if somebody is not employed, is not to eat, you can think. Because you see, an angry man is an angry man. Yes. And when somebody is idle, idle mind, you see, is a, a evil mind. It's evil mind. You will think of anything, anything. So that is the danger I want us to avoid. And I'm calling on my colleagues, uh, all um, uh, uh, employed and elected people, executives in Kano and in fact in all the whole country, to please embra embrace empowering people with uh, sources of employment, sources of uh, at least uh, revenue to themselves. However, some of the beneficiaries disclose to daily episode how the empowerment will support their lives. Myself in, in this program, which is Fish Farm, because I like the, uh, the program since I like to uh, practice fish farming since from the beginning, but I don't have the money that I used to perform this kind of program or, or business. And seriously, due to the current situation that we are in, if, an, if any beneficiary holds it as a business, it can eliminate hunger, it can provide job and it will help the beneficiary to get what to, what to be doing. Actually, I'm very glad to find myself among the beneficiaries of this special program. That is empowering of 200 candidates in fish, in fish farming. Because those kind of programs are the programs that youths usually benefit directly. Let's take example of this um, Senator Pai Ehanga. So he has so many programs that he been doing right from before he is elected and after after he is being elected. So the program is very important and is very essential because it will eliminate hunger, it will boost our economy, and it will also provide youth a job to be doing. For this end, we hope such an initiative will help in curtailing unemployment and poverty eradication in Nigeria. Abu Bakar Ismail Kankara reporting from Kanu.